Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Timeline. Today we're going to be doing the Pure Food and Drug Act, which goes in the blank for 1906. This is new to your second extended timeline. If you've been talking to any 8th graders lately, they've been reading this book. And that's why some of them are becoming vegetarians. Actually, we haven't gotten to the really horrific parts of this book. I'm, I'm very sorry to the 8th graders because um, we just won't have time this year. But maybe you will next year. You got that to look forward to. Okay, so the Pure Food and Drug Act. The history of the Pure Food and Drug Act is linked to a fiction novel that was published in 1905 called The Jungle. The Jungle, written by Upton Sinclair, is a book about the meatpacking or butchering industry of Chicago in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Sinclair spent several years in Chicago gathering information and stories of real people on which to base his book. Sinclair's purpose in writing The Jungle was to make people aware of the need for labor reform laws and regulations that would protect workers. We're going to talk more about those later on in this timeline when we get to 1938. People seem to ignore this theme in the book, however. Real labor reform laws aren't passed until 1938. What does grab people's attention, though, is how horrific the meatpacking industry was and exactly what was going into their food and medicines. As Upton Sinclair put it, I aimed at the public's heart, and by accident, I hit them in the stomach. The book had such an enormous impact on Americans that Congress, which does almost nothing immediately, immediately passed the Pure Food and Drug Act as an attempt to regulate the food and medicine industries. The Pure Food and Drug Act was expanded over time and is now known as the FDA, or the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA is responsible for protecting and promoting public health by controlling and supervising food safety, the tobacco industry, dietary supplements, medicines, vaccines, medical devices, blood transfusion, cosmetic, animal feeds, and veterinary medicines. Thanks! 